The following problem can be found in this book on the notation to the right. Hello everybody, I'm Anthony and today we'll be tackling this particular problem. The problem is a particular race car can cover a quarter mile track, which is 402 meters, in 6.40 seconds, starting from a standstill. Assuming that the acceleration is constant, how many g's does the driver experience? if the combined mass of the driver and race car is 485 kilograms. What horizontal force must the road exert on the tires? Basically we're asking this car travels this amount of length in 6.40 seconds. We want to find the acceleration. So we're going to have to tap into our kinematic equations again but in one, dire in one direction. So I just wrote out the stuff See, the car starts at zero, at the strong tool. The initial starting place is zero meters. The initial velocity is nothing because it's from a standstill. The acceleration is, that's what we're looking for. The final x is 402 meters. The final velocity is, well, we don't really need that, so I don't really care. And the T is 6.40 seconds. Now let's see, what kinematic equation can we use for this? Well, we can use the second one, which is x equals, equals x initial plus initial, that's the initial velocity times T plus one half a T squared. Let's plug those in. That's 402 meters. That's nothing. That is also nothing. And this is, oh, well, acceleration is what we're looking for. And T is 6.40 squared. Now we do some algebra. We end up with A being 90. Of a, of a being 19.6 meters per second squared but we want that in G's so we divide this by 9.80 meters per second squared to get it in G force and that in G's and the acceleration is 2.00 G's Okay, that's part one of the problem. Uh, the second part asks, what horizontal force must the road exert on the tires? Now we're dealing with a bit of Newton's second law. So let's write out it. The summation of all the forces is equal to the mass times the acceleration. So the mass is, as stated earlier, 485 kilograms. And the acceleration is, well, in meters per second, 19.6 meters per second squared. That comes out to about 9,510 newtons, or if you're feeling fancy and want to write it in scientific notation, 9.51 times 10 to the third newtons. Those are our two answers, and thank you all for watching.